Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Final Lap Twin is another racing outing on the TurboGrafx-16. It doesn't really do a whole lot new, but it is like World Court Tennis in that it includes a quest mode. Here you have to, I don't know, beat a gang of baby four-wheel drive warriors. What? Dad sends you out to travel across the land, moving from one town to the next. Along the way, you're challenged by random enemies to a one-on-one -on -one lap around a course. If you win, you get paid and can continue on. If you lose, you go back to the starting town and get 300 bucks from your dad. You can buy upgrades to the body, or escaping, battery for using turbo, tires for increasing traction, motor for maximum speed, wings to improve jumping. Along the way you face bosses who give you items like the map and compass when you win. Outside of quest mode you can play one or two players. Choose between the lower horsepower F3000 and the higher horsepower F1 classes. You can compete in a test race where you do one lap and a GP where you race three laps on multiple courses. Finishing in the top six moves you to the next course. Finishing outside leads to game over. Races are very simple. You accelerate with button one. Lay off the accelerator as you go around corners. I'm used to the stripes outside of the tracks being a, an extension of the track, but here they slow you down. There are also ramps and quest mode races which give you a boost to acceleration. The battery also gives you the ability for turbo boosts if you hold up. Button 2 brakes, but who uses brakes in a racing game? Only losers if you ask me. When it comes to grading Final Lap Twin on TurboGrafx-16, graphics get a 2.0. Frankly, outside of a good number of colors, the graphics are pretty poor. Sound gets a 1.0 the weakest part of the game by far. The sounds and music are pretty poor. Gameplay gets 2.0. Despite the multiple modes, they aren't different. They're races. The races don't have much depth to them. Just stay on the best line and win. Difficulty gets a 2.5. You need to be on the ball in order to keep going on in GPs and need buttloads of patience to keep going in quest mode. Fun Factor gets a 1.0. Without much variation, it's not very fun for very long. Overall, Final Lap Twin earns a 1.7 and gets a C-. The game is playable, but it isn't worth a whole lot of your time. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video, let me know what you think of Final Lap Twin in the comments, and please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release because it's your destiny.